I'm now joined by Stipo Yosapovich, Director of Product Management at Sigma Computing. Such a pleasure to be with you here today, Stipo. Wonderful to be here as well. At Sigma, you believe that analytics are too complex. How is the team at Sigma simplifying this for your customers? Well, we are building a uh, workspace for everyone. And when we say everyone, we really mean everyone. And that is, you know, whether a spreadsheet user, or rather a spreadsheet for the everyday business user, SQL for the data engineer, Python for the data scientist, or Gen AI for the conversationalist, we're building a single tool, a single platform that everyone can work with data using the skill sets, what they know and how they think about data to get what they need. But more than that, you know, we're really also focusing on collaboration. And when I say collaboration, we're really calling this multiplayer BI. And that means that any one of those users, any one of those skill sets, so say a spreadsheet, SQL, Python, AI, using any of those you can reference and build on top of the work of anyone else's that might be built on, again, the same technology, so again, the spreadsheet, SQL, Python, AI, and make something greater than the sum of the parts. You know, so what that all means for the business is, and what we do is we remove the obstacle of going from I, having a question to getting to an answer, uh, and then we remove the, the limits and the bounds of collaboration so that you can work with data sort of limitlessly. It's an exciting next chapter, Steve. But let's dive into the AI data cloud. Sigma is purpose built natively on Snowflake. How is it set up to take full advantage of the AI data cloud, and how does this partnership enable business teams to build data products faster? So I'd, I'd go back to how Sigma started, right. and it started with a very simple realization, and that was that the warehousing infrastructure is advancing very rapidly. Uh, and, but there really is this gap and opportunity for a front end to be able to harness that power and bring it to the people who need it most. And so Sigma's mission from the very beginning was, and still is, to be able to harness the power of the data cloud and bring it to the business users and everyone who's trying to work with their data. So there's really, you know, um, I'd say even if you take it back to our ar the core architecture of how the product was built, it was built with the trust in the performance the security, and the technological advancement of the data cloud. And so there's many, many benefits that our customers get from this. And first and the most basic is that our customers don't have to futz around with extracts. They don't have to worry about liveness of data. They can really just execute queries against, against Snowflake, against the data cloud, and they, they're going to get performant results. And we can trust the data cloud to give that great experience. But more than that, you know, I think we, we really lean into all of the power and capabilities and bringing that to the business. And so when I say that, say that your organization has, uh, has AI and ML models uh, or that are uh, custom built on Snowpark and Snowflake, or you're just trying to use Cortex out of the box, any user uh, who, of Sigmas who has, uh, has previously used, in, used Excel and used formulas in Excel is able to use that exact skill set, that very same skill set in Sigma to, uh, to perform analysis and use that powerful technology against big data live. Like, that's just incredible, right? Uh, but, and it goes even more than that. You know, I think even Python is a perfect example of how this relationship shines. You know, we uh, announced our Python integration, and that is entirely possible by Snowflake and the Data Cloud and Snowpark Container Services. And we're able to provide this experience without having to manage uh, all of the infrastructure of moving data, managing services. Instead, we can just provide a great customer experience, great user experience for working with Python. So from the beginning, from the beginning of Sigma, you know, we've really thought about and we've purpose designed to be able to leverage everything that's coming, everything that's here today. And what that means for your business and for anyone who's really a joint customer is you're able to take and get all of the technological, cutting edge technological advancements and you're able to get that to the widest set of your users within your organization as quickly as possible. Great to hear, Stipo. And some recent exciting news coming out of Sigma with the launch of Sigma AI. Can you walk us through this recent release? Yes, yeah, so there's a couple of things. And I'll start with, I think, the exciting technology, again, that Snowflake's uh, uh, released, which is just Cortex, right? Absolutely incredible. Uh, and something that everyone should have, and we truly believe that. And so what we're doing is we're taking it to the next level. And taking it to the next level means wanting to make Cortex as ubiquitous and as easy to use as spreadsheets. 
right? And really, we want this infrastructure available to everyone, regardless of if you're in product, regardless of whether you're in sales, regardless of your marketing, or even engineering. We want that to be readily available. And then in addition to that, we've also announced our own co-pilot, you know, an assistant on demand. And, you know, and it's easy to say you know, there's millions of these, and there certainly are millions of these, right? Uh, but where they're really focused is on being able to go from natural language to Python and SQL. And that's really, really, really valuable for people who speak those languages. But the reality is that not everyone does. And this is where Sigma is doing something different. What we're doing is we're working with our LLM, with our co-pilot, and we've taught it Sigma. It knows spreadsheets. It knows when you ask, a, when you make a request to produce something within our product, within our UI, that allows for anyone to be able to validate, understand the output, and make sure that's the right thing to make decisions on. Right? That's really bridging the gap, that trust gap that AI has, and really is, is no one's really able to solve. And that's what Sigma is investing in, really kind of uh, how we're differentiating ourselves to. It's great to hear, Steve. Well, I also want to dive into another recent announcement here with Sigma, announcing two native apps on Snowflake Marketplace today. Can you tell us more about these and the benefits to joint Sigma and Snowflake customers? Absolutely. So, you know, I go back to, you know, Sigma was built on the promise of the data cloud and security and the governance that it offers. So the first uh, native app is the data path native app. And that, uh, that ha or rather with that native app, we lean into this governance uh, model and security model even more. So when you're using Sigma, your data never leaves the Snowflake ecosystem and environment. And our Python native app does the same thing. Right? It ensures that you can, uh, you can work with Python with the comfort of knowing your data is, never, is not moving around. Now, you know, within our product, what does the Python native app do? And I think it, it creates, a, we are able to provide a really amazing experience. So for a Python user in Sigma, you can build, uh, you can build data science applications using an interface that Python users and data scientists are very familiar with, the notebook combined with the power of our UI. And that, you know, by itself, I get excited about. But I think there's two things that I, that I really love highlighting about this that really excite me. The first is that those data scientists, because they're able to leverage Sigma in addition to Python, what they're able to do is just focus on uh, their work on where they make the biggest impact. And that impact is uh, building the data science models that drive business value. They don't have to worry about the downstream users and how they're going to interact with our UI because we provide all that functionality out of the box for them to leverage. Let them do what they do best. Exactly, and where they make the biggest impact because that's also where they want to be. And then the second piece that's also really remarkable about this is that we're able to take those data scientists and bring them to the business, right? They're no longer in isolated siloed tools and they're able to build exactly where, they, where their stakeholders are and bring them along for the journey. And because we have this multiplayer BI, they can take advantage of this and build alongside those stakeholders. I think Gartner says something at like 85% of ML projects fail because they're not aligned to business objectives, right? To the business needs. And you know, that's entirely avoidable. And I'm excited to say, which is that you know, Sigma and Snowflake, we, we together are able to provide this experience that solves this problem. You know, data science doesn't have to be an isolated thing that you invest in, comes out with one input, is, is sort of left behind. It's something that can compound because everyone can build on it. The business who needed it is able to work with it and build on top of it. Very much a top-down approach. Absolutely. Such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud now. As you look out over the coming months, what's your primary focus? I love this question so much. Uh, You're already doing a lot, Steve. We, we're doing a lot, and I'm so excited to talk about how much more we're going to do and how exciting this is, right? So, you know, our journey has been about analysis, and analysis is the heart of how any business works in the context of, of data, uh, but it's the beginning, right? When someone, when someone hands you a report and you look at it and you, you get what you needed. You've come to a conclusion, and that conclusion begets action, right? And action is usually with other people, right? It's a part of a process. It's a part of a greater whole. So what we're focused on is really sort of, is going from the uh, helping our users answer the next question with analysis, Granted, we continue to invest and, and work on this, right? Because it's a never perfect game. But we're also really focused on helping our customers take the next step, 
right? So we've spent so much time helping all the users, all the personas. Again, everyone who knows spreadsheet SQL, uh, Python, AI, be able to get to their analysis. Now we're taking and we're pushing ourselves to the next level to be able to say, you know, we want these users with all the same skill sets to be able to build the apps that they need to run the business, right, at scale on the data cloud. And so what I'll say is, you know, if you can imagine your people, your teams, your process, and your work all assisted with AI, right, that's just a hint of what's to come. Looking forward to seeing what's next. Steve, it's such a pleasure having you on today. Thank you for having me. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.